بسم اللہ و صلاۃ وسلام علی رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم و بعد ایوری ایسپیکٹ آف دا پروفیٹ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم از یونیک اینڈ امیزن حسنت جمیع و خصال ہی ایوری ایٹریبیوٹ آف دا میسنجر صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم از فلولس از آؤٹ اسٹینڈنگ اینڈ امپیکبل ٹوڈے آئی شیو وتھ یو اے پروفاؤنڈ ریفلیکشن فرام اے ورس آف دا ٹوینٹی سیون جز آف دا قرآن چیپٹر ففٹی تھری ورس نمبر سیونٹین Uh, the verse is mazagh al-basar wa ma tagha verbatim translation the blessed gaze of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam did not stray nor did it trespass the backdrop or the context of this ayah is it was revealed regarding the nocturnal journey of the messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam where he ascended to the heavens and beyond and he was blessed with seeing sayyidina jibril alaihi salam in his original form wa laqad ra'ahu nazlatan ukhra as expounded by ibn kathir rahimahullah and other commentators of tafsir on that particular night in addition to seeing jibril alayhi salam in his original form the messenger sallallahu alayhi wasallam was was privileged was blessed was favored wa laqad ra'a min ayati rabbih al-kubra he seen many many great signs of the almighty now Generally, averagely, commonly, when a person is exposed to something of exceptional beauty, profound caliber, uh, breathtaking, then it's very difficult to keep your gaze focused and aligned on one particular thing. Take a child in a candy aisle or in a toy shop. He'll be looking right, he'll be looking left, he will be barely looking at what you want him to look at. But when he came to the messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Allah says, مَا زَاغَ الْبَصَرِ His blessed gaze did not stray. عَنْ مَرْئِيِّهِ الْمَقْصُودِ لَهُ What was shown to him at a particular moment, his gaze was مَرْكُوز, was fixed on that. وَمَا تَجَاوَزَ ذَلِكْ Nor did he look at that intended object and simultaneously look at something else. But rather, he afforded it his total vision and exclusive reflection. And that's the message, my brother. That's the message, my sister. Unfortunately, unfortunately, يعني ما عدل عن رؤية العجائب التي أمر برؤيتها as علم النسفي makes mention of it. Our condition is I'll pick up the phone to ring my dad or call my mom or particular individual. But when I hold my phone in my hand, lo and behold, there's five emails, there's twenty messages, uh, there's five missed calls. So instead of engaging in what I ought to engage. I'm overwhelmed, I'm trying to do things simultaneously, and then I am deficient in everything that I do. Or I take a shopping list and I go to the mall to purchase uh, five items, I meet a friend there, I see something on sale, and I end up doing everything other than what I came to do. My message is simple from this profound, impeccable legacy of the Prophet ﷺ. When you embark on a mission, then focus your lenses and do it exclusively. May Allah grant us that ability of exclusive focus in the objectives in which we embark. Ameen Ya Rabbil Alameen.